QuickBooks Online 2023. QuickBooks Payments Set Up. Get ready to earn the skills needed to boost your bank books on up with QuickBooks Online 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switching the view down below. We're looking at the setup process for QuickBooks Online payments, noting before we do that testing out and setting up QuickBooks Online payments can be a little bit more difficult than testing out other tools within QuickBooks Online because we're basically setting up banking within QuickBooks Online that will be integrated with QuickBooks Online and therefore have to go through a kind of approval process. So we often don't have the capacity to practice with these tools with things like the free QuickBooks Online test drive sample company file. Also keep in mind that if you're looking to set up your QuickBooks Online payments, you might wanna first think about uh, talking to a QuickBooks Online advisor who may be able to set you up with more favorable rates. That might be something to look into. But here is the process. We can go to the cog up top. We're gonna to go to the account and settings. Within the account and settings, we go into the payments area and then we have QuickBooks payments. It says get paid more ways fast, take credit cards and your bank transfers, accept payments through QuickBooks email uh, invoices and mobile. QuickBooks automatically updates when you're paid. That's what we wanna see. So let's learn more about it. So we're gonna go into here. We have fast, simple payments, right in QuickBooks, accept payments online or in person. Customers may pay by credit card, start Apple, uh, credit card, Apple Pay or bank transfer. Your books are uh, reconciled automatically. If you wanna take a look at the rates, which of course is always a good idea. So the rates could change over time. So take a look at the rates. We've got the fee type, the description and the cost. So you got the transfer fee, amount charged for each transfer, including batch jobs. We've got the discount rate for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Network, American Express, and JCB percent of transaction that is deducted as a fee. You will be billed for the accumulated charges for each submitted batch. Then you've got the charge back fee, amount added to each dispute transaction amount. You've got the bank reject fee, amount charged for failure to pay fees due to bad bank or credit card transactions. You've got the ACH transaction fee, amount charged each time an electronic bank payment is paid uh, to you. And then you've got the returned check fee, fee charged for failed electronic bank payment. So notice, notice that most of these fees are happening obviously as the transactions are taking place and they're getting a, a piece of the transactions. We talked a little bit of, about how you might want to think about that, you know, your payment structures and how you're going to uh, think about how particular customers might pay you in different scenarios in a prior presentation. So then we have to get started. We need some quick information. So you've got the business information, which includes the federal tax ID, EIN, website, address, phone. You've got the personal information, name, address, phone number, last four of social security. And then you've got the deposit uh, account information, uh, connect your bank account to receive payment. So once you've entered this information uh, into the system, this should go from grayed out to activate payments. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate payments. Then it says you're all set. Now we're ready to take payments online and in person. Confirm your number and we'll text you a link uh, to download the QuickBooks Go Payment app where you can start taking uh, card payments. So we talked about in a prior presentation, the Go Payment app 
is an app other than you know the quickbooks online app designed specifically for accepting payments uh only as opposed to the quickbooks online app which has you know everything kind of in it so i'm going to say all right text me the link as i'm setting that up on the old phone select an account to keep your books up to date so save hours each month uh, when you let quickbooks automatically bank, uh, match your bank deposits with the receipts or invoices select the account that corresponds to your bank so in other words when you start to receive payments then it's going to have to batch those payments to help match the format that it's going to be deposited into your checking account and in order to automate that we've got to tell it you know which account it's going to be going into so i would assume this is going to be our normal uh checking account so we're going to save that then and then it says uh you're good to go we already got your information charge on so great so i'm going to say okay that was a pretty easy setup process so that's the process